shouldn't have had that new drip last before I came out. Oh, I'm so fucking full. Oh my god. Oh my god, I feel like I'm gonna explode. Oh. I have this Nutri Blast. If you don't know what Nutri Blast is, it's one of these blenders. <sighs> Where you put a load of fruit and veg in and you mush it up. I had one of these before I left work. I shouldn't have. Because I'm so fucking full. I'm so fucking full. <laughs> oh, fuck it out. Don't cough. My god, don't cough. Oh. Oh, I'm so fat. I'm so fat. It's stupid that we have to be told to eat fruit and veg. Oh, bollocks. 50 on the fucking motorway means something's happened. <sighs> I'm just gonna lie back here for a second. Just so my big ass belly doesn't stick out so much. Oh my god. But it's stupid we have to be told to eat fruit and veg, you know what I mean? This day and age, we know we should know the benefits of fruit and veg without it being forced down our fucking throats. Hello. Hi cuter. I know. It's not a very attractive pose, is it though? Lying back with your big fucking belly sticking out. Bleh. Come over here, darling. I'll give you a good turn. Bleh. I'll show you a good time, sweetheart. A shitload of people, I don't know the percentage, I'll, I'll find it out and put it up on this video. Bing! A shitload of people don't even manage to eat three or two every fucking day. How backwards is that? What shit are you actually putting into your fucking body so that you don't eat fruit and veg, you know? You know what I mean? Now, I'm not a, a fucking health nut or anything, but in the UK it's five portions of fruit and veg. You know that you're told to eat, but in European countries it's like eight, nine, ten. I think in Japan it's like thirteen. The average person eats thirteen portions of fruit and veg a fucking day or some shit like that. And we have five, fucking five. You know what I mean? And we can't even manage that. A lot of people can't even manage that. Backwards, man. What's this? What do you think it's down to? It's down to just laziness. It is just laziness. And we're so comfortable in our fucking little lives. It's fucking stupid. It's sad as fuck. Man. If someone attacked this country seriously, we'd all be, we'd all just roll over if you turned off the TV. Ah, oh, they control the TV. <laughs> we'll do what you want. Just turn it back on. You know. Oh no, Facebook has gone. <laughs> Please let us have it, I don't care. I'll start speaking Russian. You know, just fucking push over as a, as a country. It's turning into soft shits. I'd like some days without the fucking TV on. You know what I mean? Where we just turn the fucking TV off, fully off. I'd like days where we, you know, we you get, you're like outside and doing shit. Days where the fucking... Of course, Facebook doesn't exist. You know, it's just switched off for like a few days or something. Just let people like, join back to reality and not have this persona, this social media persona which they've got to upkeep. Fucking backwards, isn't it? I mean, what did we do before Facebook? Seriously? Do people remember what we did before Facebook? Right, we went out, we chatted to normal fucking people in a pub. Had a drink. There was a nice smoky smell to the pubs. You know what I mean? That, that lovely, familiar pub smoke smell. I love that smell. I used to work in a bar just before the ban, and then after it, and it just destroyed it. Just destroyed the fucking atmosphere. It wasn't fully cloud of smoke, but it was just a nice pub smell. You could tell you'd been in a pub. Yeah, but it's strange that we have to. It's like common sense. You know what I mean? Eat, fr eat some fruit and veg. It's good for you. That's just common fucking sense, you know what I mean? People have to be told it. We've got this, in the UK, we've got this fucking change for life, it's called. Which is a well-meaning and good thing. I'm not calling change for life one bit. It's going to help, you know, inform people. But seriously, if we've got to that point in our civilization where we have to be told 
that moving even a little bit is good for us. What the fuck? So they create these fucking like reward charts and shit for people to to follow and to do and oh I walked 5,000 steps today fucking good good for fucking you that's the minimum I expect of you you asshole you know what I mean I, like I say I ain't some fucking health nut but I try and look after myself a little bit you know like at home see I can't go to the gym and shit we've got a little baby and the missus does my tie so at home I, that's what I do I've got my uh, I've got Insanity the DVD and I've got the T25 so they're the things what I use, this high intense interval training shit. And that's what I use. I don't, I'm not slim by any fucking means, seriously, I've got a belly on me. But it's not massive, I can still see my cock, you know what I mean? If I can't see my cock, that's when I know I'm in trouble. <laughs> that's, that's my measure of fat. <laughs> I've got to use like a couple of mirrors or something, but it's fine, I can still see it. <laughs> 